Hey, hello there Libra. Welcome to my channel. I'm grateful you're here to watch your tarot card prediction. This card reading covers September 4th to the 8th of 2018. These general readings, they might not always resonate, but you'll know when it does resonate with you. What does not resonate is meant for another. More personal readings can be booked. Check out the links below for more information. And remember to check out your past video predictions. They will resonate more clearly then when that time has arrived. This channel is an evolving channel. I hope you stay tuned in. Okay, thanks Libra. Off camera, I have blessed, meditated, and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere of the week. It's the basis of the matter. It's the background. The Nine of Pentacles, Libra. The Nine of Pentacles. Self-sufficiency. This is independence from financial concerns. You're feeling accomplished in your goals and you feel secure and you have abundance around you. You're going to be able to further your career and projects. You're enjoying a secure base. There's material well-being and well-controlled thought. There's solitary enjoyment of the good life and love of gardens and home. Your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path. It's the immediate future. The Three of Cups, Libra. Going to be celebrating with some friends. The Three of Cups. This is a time and a fun. This could be a party or a get together, some kind of celebration with your friends. It is a positive growth pattern. It's something that's been brought to completion. It's like the completion of a stage. There's a little more to do yet, but you're celebrating what you did do. There's going to be healing and abundance. There's cooperation and shared experiences. You're going to get to enjoy the moment because you do deserve some ha to have some fun. You'll be extending goodwill and you're going to be forging a stronger commitment and there's friends around you that support you. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. This is a zero card of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Fool. Zero. The Fool. This is a choice and a new beginning. This is a blind leap of faith. This is an important new beginning. And the advice is to trust life. And if you follow your instincts, you will be provided with guidance. This is a new way of life. Maybe moving. Could be a new job, a marriage, or a divorce. This is the first step, despite your fear. So react with a pure heart and your innocence and divine spirit. You'll feel enthusiasm. You may be acting on a whim, but you are getting to enjoy the moment. Your fourth card, this is the future, the outcome, the results, and the advice. Number 13 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. Death. Number 13. Death. This card stands for change. This is renewal and transformation. This is destruction, then renewal. This is an ending and then new life. There's going to be new opportunities and there's something you may need to release. It might be painful. There could be a transition and a needing to let go. This is looking for a new path. There could be a change in relationship, or your job, or a long-standing belief. But this is a new chapter in your life, maybe even a new idea. This is a zodiac sign card for Scorpio, and the ruling planet is Saturn. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's the underlying issue. It's what's unseen. The Eight of Cups, Libra another card of moving on. 
the Eight of Cups. There's something better just around the corner. It's a better future. You might travel, but you're finding a new direction. And you know what you want, and you won't settle for anything less. So stay the path and keep going with the flow. You do have the drive to do it better. You may be wishing for some time alone, and you're ready to look at better things. Thank you so much, Libra. Thank you for all those wonderful comments and validations. Please keep them coming and subscribe. You guys keep me inspired and thrilled to keep making these videos for you. Thank you and bless you. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So keep it positive. Love and light.